Hey community, how is it going? I have been working on this dashboard. This new page will let you manage multiple bots. So I hope that you like it. The idea is that now we can start controlling the bots from just one UI. So, well, this is the PR, it's a draft. So let me show you how it works. If you run here, make run, the dashboard will be created. Well, you have a bunch of pages. I don't know if you are familiar with this or not. You can download candles. Uh, well, basically here I have this new tab that is bot orchestration. As you can see, the Hummingbot broker, that is a new component introduced by Kiel Panagi and Horst Rocher. They have been working on this. It says Hummingbot broker is running. We can check that on Docker. We can see that the broker is here running. So if we run stop uh, broker and we press the R, refresh the page. So it says Hive broker is not running. Before you create any instance, you have to activate the broker because if not, the auto start uh, won't check that the broker is up. So it not, you are not going to be able to send commands to the bots. But well, basically, uh, here in Docker, we can see that now it's stopped. And if we run create Hummingbot broker again, we can see broker is running and the, uh, the container is running again. So, well, this is like magic. <laughs> uh, I'm very happy with this product because uh, it will be very cool for, for the future of the Hummingbot users. So here to launch a new instance, you select the uh, Hummingbot instance name. For example, I will put daemon uh, one. So create instance. Now I will create daemon two, and then I will create daemon three. So basically it takes a while to recognize why, which are the instances that are running. But as you can see, now I have these three instances. The three of them are active. And now here I can see like these uh, tabs where I can check the status of each uh, like bot. So well, right now is the bot is starting, so probably that's why this is uh, bugged. And also this branch needs a lot of testing yet because uh, it's a draft already. But well, if we rerun the page with Control uh, Command R, if you're Mac or F5, if you're Windows, whatever, you will see this. So if we go to Docker again, we can see that now we have the three instances running here. So if you want to access directly to the instance, you can open a terminal. This is a recording. So you can run Docker, PS, well, to check the, the instances. And we can just, um, we can just attach one of them. Docker, attach, um, Hummingbot, demand one. And you will see that the bot is running. But well, this is just to, if you want to access directly, you just need to run docker attach and that will be available for you. Then you can access to the terminal. So here it says that status is active. So for example, I want to kill this uh, instance. I can click here and say, um, uh, or imagine that I want to kill two instances. I can click the two of them and then select stop selected instances. A uh, high mode takes a while to st to be stopped when you are in in a container, so don't worry, it can take a while. Um, when it's like ready, you, we are going to see that here the two instances are stopped now, and if we refresh, we can see that the status of the container is excited. We can start, for example, the instance again, and we can also remove uh, one of the instances that is excited if we want to clean up because now we have two started and one uh, excited. If we want to clean this one, clean selected instances, and that instance will be cleaned. You're not going to see it again. So that is pretty cool. Obviously, I focus more in the utility. Um, probably the front end has to be improved, but well, that's, that is what we have right now. So, well, here you can see your instances, your bots, and as you can see, it says the bot is currently stopped. Start a strategy to get the bot status. Obviously, we will need to create some uh, sort of configuration to 
create new config files for the strategies or you can copy and paste them inside the folders because inside the, this repo, you're going to see the, the files, Heimbot Demon 1, Heimbot Demon 2, all the things that we created. And here, for example, you can create the folder with the strategy configs that you want. Well, that is up to you, the configurations that you want to create. Um, and well, we are going to have a bi-weekly meeting that will be public with all the community that wants to participate. And we are on the stage, uh, we will be the ones that are like the core team that wants to work on this. Uh, but anyone can participate by commenting on the chat. So, well, uh, for example, if I want to start a strategy in Heimbot Demon 3, I can just run, for example, simple pmm example.py. Here it says that if it's a script, you have to write .py. And if it's a uh, strategy, you will need to select the, the YAML file because first we'll import the config file and then it will run the config file, the strategy, if it's a strategy. And if it's a script, you just run it. So as you can see, simple pnm example.py, we can run here, run strategy. Here it says running. And uh, if we now uh, access to, or we ask for get status, you will see that now I have the, the I return that paper trade active, all orders are simulated. So well, my strategy or my bot is up. Obviously, we will need to create some buttons here for stop, um, change some configuration on the fly. But well, we will need the support of all the community members that wants to participate on the design. Um, so well, that's all. Uh, next week I will be on vacation, so the week after I will return uh, to continue working on this. So well, that is all. Uh, I will submit the, the the new commit with the stop button if you want to 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 stop the bot because probably it will be annoying. But well, that is how it works. If we now attach the Heimbot Demon Three, uh, we will see that is running. So that's pretty cool. Um, uh, well, that's all. I hope that you like it. I hope that this can be useful for you. And um, let's see in two weeks. Bye-bye.